Welcome back. In this section, we shall learn how to group elements in HTML for specific purposes. For example, if I am building a website and the footer section, which is the bottom of the website, has the contact details, a map, and a newsletter form. Since they are all at the bottom of the website, it will be easier to group all of them so I can apply a background color once to the group and it will be effective on the contact details, the map and the newsletter form. So grouping elements in HTML is useful because it helps maintain a single attribute across various elements. In this course, we shall be using two tags for grouping our elements and these tags are the div tag and the section tag. The div tag and the section tag. Let's group a heading tag, a paragraph tag, a big tag and a small tag in our div tag. Now let's do that. A heading tag, let's say h1. See, okay. this is my heading. Like I said in my previous video, it's always good practice to indent this. So I'd use the tab button to create the space. Now let's create a paragraph tag. See, this is my paragraph. Let's create a big tag. Say this is the big tag and let's create a small tag. And this is small tag. Right here, we have seen how to group elements in a div tag. Now, let's group elements in the section tag and see the difference. Let's do this. Let's say div and create a heading tag here. This is the heading tag. Let's create a paragraph tag. Say this, this is the paragraph tag. Let's create a big tag. This is the big tag. Now let's create a small tag and say, this is the small tag. Now let's save this. If you notice, I grouped the div group inside the section tag. Section tags can serve as grouping tags to div tags. Like I said earlier on, the use of grouping elements is seen when we start using CSS to add features like colors and dimensions to our websites. So we shall learn more about grouping tags and actually there is not a clear cut to grouping tags in HTML. Anything somehow can be used to group anything in HTML. But for best practices, we shall stick with divs and sections throughout this course. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ask questions or contribute to this course in the comment section. Thank you very much.